I'm a student at Northern Illinois University, and about a week and a half ago, student Antoinette Tony Keller went missing. It was released to the media yesterday in a press conference by the task force, the major crime task force that's been handling her disappearance as of late that not only was it reclassified as a death investigation on Saturday, it is now a homicide investigation. Apparently Tony's body, Tony's remains, were found a few days after she disappeared, but the reason that they kept searching and brought in the dive teams from St. Charles and didn't tell friends and family or the public it's because for eight days they didn't know that what they'd found had been human. Knowing what I do about forensic science and fire science, though not a lot, it's enough to make me dangerous, that means that more than likely there weren't bones to identify but just pieces and fragments. Some people have questioned the likelihood of the inability to identify their remains for so long, suggesting that there's been a cover-up of some kind, that NIU and the task force has not been honest, and this is just not true. Fire can get that hot. It's what cremation is. But the problem is that this means either the fire burned for a really long time, or what is in my opinion, my uneducated opinion, more likely, is that some sort of accelerant was used. What troubles me is this makes it harder for me to believe that she met up with someone in the park and it something happened, some, an accident, and the person got scared. It makes it seem more likely that it was something nefarious. It is always tragic when we lose a member of the NIU Husky family, regardless of the reason. Whether it was Michael Malone about a month ago from an apparent suicide, or the six people who died and yes, I include this shooter as one of the victims. In the tragic events of February 14, 2008. While Stephen Kazmarek did a terrible, terrible thing, he was at one point a husky too. And for whatever reason, he felt lost from this family. And I, each of those instances, the loss of Huskies is tragic. But what makes it seem more so, at least to me at the moment, is the fact that there is so much about Tony's death and murder that we don't know. I understand that more than likely it was an opportunistic thing. I don't believe that there's a serial killer shocking campus. And that more than likely, in the words of some of my dear friends, as long as I don't plan to go on walks in the woods and stay in well-traveled areas, I should be fine. But the fact is, we don't know. So for the first time in my two and a half years here, here's here I am taking advantage of the Husky Patrol and the security escorts that are now being offered by the NIU police when I have night classes. I am being more vigilant, and I am doing everything I can never to walk alone. I even called my dad today and said, I'm just calling to let you know I'm walking across campus. You know, just an FYI. It's scary because there's so much that we don't know. And it's terrifying because she was so young. She was a freshman. She was 18. She was, by all appearances, a wonderful person. I never had the opportunity to meet Tony Keller, and 
I wish I had. Because she seems like someone I really would have loved to know. But even though I didn't meet her, she still changed my life. Seeing the outpouring of emotion at the vigil that NIU held tonight. Seeing and reading the thoughts and feelings from friends and acquaintances I had in the design community through the website designed by humans that I'm a part of. Artists, fellow artists to tell me, who expressed sympathy and thoughts and well wishes from the very beginning. People who may or may not know me very well, but who were touched just by Tony's story. Tony changed the world, whether she meant to or not. She changed my life, and she altered the lives of everyone I know who's been made aware of this situation. And as a member of NIU Forensics and the Community Service Board member for this year, it is my goal and our goal that the fundraiser we're going to try and hold in Tony's memory in the coming month, which I've already spoken to her family about, will help change the lives of others in the positive way that Tony managed to change all of ours. Unfortunately, it is evident that Northern Illinois University has a history with tragedy and with sadness in the recent years. However, those situations have made it apparent that we are a community that bands together when it's necessary and even when it's not. And that we stand resilient and resolved that we will not crumble in the face of danger and that we will not back down. It is a word that escapes me and has escaped me. I want to say ironic, but it's not ironic. Not even in Alanis Morissette kind of way. Cole Hall is where this shooting happened a couple of years ago. And starting the day of, if not the days surrounding, Tony's disappearance is when the visual renovations on Cole Hall started to happen. The memorial was finished a while ago, but it was only within the past week, week and a half, that there is now a dumpster out front and the windows are blacked out because they've started to renovate the interior of the building so that we can reclaim what was a site of tragedy to become something more. Tony will probably never receive the same kind of memorial site or even the same amount of recognition from the media who keep getting things wrong, but that doesn't mean she was any less important to the NIU community and to those who know her and those who didn't. Please keep Anna you in, her, in your thoughts and your prayers. But please also keep Tony's family there. Because this is so new in terms of the investigation, there is much left to find out, and it is possible they will never get the answers they seek. But I will always hope that they will have the strength to deal with the answers they find and the lack of answers that they never will. Thank you to everyone who's kept Tony and NIU in their hearts and their thoughts and their prayers. It means a lot to all of us. Because even if you don't know us, it still matters that you care. Thank you.